Welcome back, City Builders. I'm Canadian Moose Plays. This is City Skylines 2. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install the Real Vision decals and surfaces by Static Noise. This video can also apply to other local custom decals and surfaces. So let's dive in. So the website that we're going to use for this to download the decals is linked below in the description of this video. Likewise, if you're in the Discord, it's also available there in the City Skylines 2 channel as a pinned message. So you're going to want to start by opening up that website so that we can download the surfaces and the decals. And it's all in one file. So we're going to click on code here and download that zip. Now I've already got it downloaded here for the purposes of this video. So we're gonna hop into Finder here and I like to open up two windows. So we're gonna go with the two here and separate them. Just makes it easier to see what's going on and what I wanna use. So here are the Real Vision decals. And the first step that I like to do for it is come over here and let's find where these go. Now. There is, if we scroll down on the website again here, we keep scrolling, there is an entire breakdown here of exactly where you should put these, which is super useful. Here it shows where the decals go, and here it shows where the surfaces go. Again, super useful, and that's essentially the profile that we're gonna be following. So we're gonna hop on over to our two finder pages here and start first by locating where these files are gonna go. So we're gonna go with users, my username, which will be your username, We'll go to app data, local low, colossal order, city skylines two, mods data, and then in here, extra assets importer. And then this is the main spot where you're gonna put any surfaces and any decals that you download. They're all gonna go in one of these two sections. Obviously pretty straightforward. Did I download custom decals? Cool, they're gonna go in here. Did I download custom surfaces? They're gonna go in here. Now there's two ways you can approach this and I'm sure there's other ways too. I'm just gonna show you the way that works for me because I've had no issues adding these and having them show up in game for me so far. And the first thing I like to do, we need to extract this. So I like to extract all and we're going to now, you can again extract it directly into here, but I have had some issues in the past with other games, most notably Microsoft Flight Sim, when extracting files directly into the folder they need to go sometimes causes issues. So I like to extract it first to the desktop. So we're gonna extract it here, extract that, boom, and let that do its thing. And it's just gonna go through here and extract all the files. As you can see, there are quite a lot of items. So give it some time here. It'll start to download all of those to the desktop. We can also just go over here, open up a new window and look at the desktop where they should be available. So we'll wait for those to pop up and then boom, you can see I have a bunch of them here. The simple way to go about it now is choose whichever one you want, whether it's both or you just want the decals. You can go into the decals here, ground, and all you're going to do is drag that folder into where decals is. So let's open up decals. Again, as you can see, I've already got it here. You would just simply drag ground into that folder. It's going to start transferring those over and that's it. That's all you need to do. That should be good to go. They should show up automatically in game for you. Same with custom surfaces. So you would back out over here on the left side, go to custom surfaces, and then just simply drag the rock over here. And that's it. And that's kind of the process for anything that you're gonna download, whether it be custom surfaces or custom decals. They all go into one of these two folders here and they create their own sort of folder that will show up in game. You might've seen detailing the uh, side road markings before. You might've seen ground as an optional texture you can place. That's what all these are and that's where those go. So it's super straightforward. If any of them ever need to go into a different spot, they shouldn't. But if they ever do, just double check from the creator. They usually include, just like here, they usually include a breakdown saying, hey, this is where this item goes in case it does differ. So always check with the creator first. But yeah, that's it. It's super simple. That's how I do it. And I've had no issues having them show up in game. So hopefully this helps for you to get custom surfaces and custom decals into your game. So I wanted to hop into the game here real quickly and just show you where you can find your new surfaces and your new decals. So under the extra assets tab down here, we're going to click on this and you've got surfaces and you've got decals. So the surfaces can be found under the rock surfaces tab. Here you'll see all of your brand new surfaces to explore. Let's go into the decals tab and over here under ground decals, you can see all of these brand new decals and there's a lot of them. 
to explore. So hopefully this video helps. And as mentioned, this can also be applied to any sort of decals or surfaces that you get, whether it's through Discord channels or wherever you may acquire them. Just check with the creator to make sure that the paths are the same. They should be, but it's always best to just double check and make sure you're putting them in the right folder so that when you launch the game, you will see those there for you to play with. I'm Canadian Moose Place, and I'll catch you in the next video.